Hello. In this video, I'm going to summarize the reactions of Grignard reagents with carboxylic acid derivatives. Uh, let's pick an acid chloride. And uh, the overarching theme here is that many of the carboxylic acid derivatives react twice with Grignard reagents to produce tertiary alcohols, though some are not reactive because of acid-base reaction considerations. And of course, amides and nitriles have to be different. So <clears throat> acid chlorides react with Grignard reagents once to form a ketone, and then a second time to form the uh, tertiary alcohol. What acid chlorides do and hydrides do also. Um, and it is worth noting that, right, that after aqueous workup, the other half of the anhydride remains as a carboxylic acid. Once it's acted as a leaving group, its job is done. This anhydrides have some of the same limitations in their reactions with Grignard reagents as their reactions with other uh, species is that once you have a mixed anhydride, this reaction is considered to be not productive uh, unless you have some other, you know, ability to influence the outcome because there are two possible tertiary alcohols that could, uh, could be generated based on two possible carbonyl groups reacting, and the other one, of course, being the leaving group, so we're not productive here. Okay. I should go back and grab the, grab the acid chloride and make it a carboxylic acid. Uh, this is essentially a... and you get you know, destruction of the green degree and... Product compounds kill Grignard reagents. However, Grignard reagents do I have another problem. Here we go. Grignard reagents do react with esters. Actually, I want to grab maybe this one. Grignard reagents do react with esters. And again, one part of the ester comes off as a leaving group. The carbonyl portion becomes a tertiary alcohol. Once we're in amides, uh, again, uh, if you have an amide with an NH bond, it's protic, so it's going to destroy the Grignard reagent. But if that amide has uh, no NH bonds, then we have the opportunity for the Grignard reagent to react with that image to form uh, a hemiaminal kind of intermediate, which decomposes to give the ketone and the mean is left over as a byproduct. And then finally, If instead of uh, any of the other derivatives, we have a nitrile, nitriles also react with Grignard reagents to form ketones after decomposition or hydrolysis of an imine-like intermediate. Okay. This is my summary of uh, Grignard reagents and carboxylic acid derivatives. Acid chlorides, anhydrides, and esters form tertiary alcohols, though an mixed anhydride reactions are sometimes not productive. Carboxylic acids and amides with NH bonds uh, are protic molecules and destroy Grignard reagents. And then tertiary amides and nitriles react to form ketones. Thank you for watching.